Everybody wants to talk to the cool people on the motorcycles. Hi everybody, uh, this is XP. I've come out to Clover Point here in Victoria so I can give you a good little view of my bike. I figured if you're going to look at something as pretty as my bike, uh, you should do it in a place uh, as pretty as Clover Point. So we're going to go over here and we're going to do a little walk around. This is my bike. She is a 2000 CBR um, 600 F4. Uh, as you can see, I have a uh, personal affinity for transformers, and I decided to make it my, my little bumblebee bike. Um, so I did put the uh, Autobot symbol on the front, that was my doing, and I put her name back here, I hope you're getting a good shot of this, uh, but that's her name, that's my bike, that's my baby. When I got her, she had a small amount of pre-existing, um, oh, hold on a minute, I, hope, I don't know if you guys can see this, there's actually a bee on my bike, I want to make sure I'm getting this right there. I've noticed that because I have a yellow bike, bumblebees are drawn to it and will often come on. I don't know if they're trying to woo my bike um, or not, but this happens all the time. I get bumblebees on my bike. Um, so back to the pre-existing <laughs> damage. It had this little scuff mark that was pre-existing as well as um, a little scuff mark here um, on the side of the bike. So that was what came with the bike. I added the aftermarket Yoshimura pipe. Uh, the only damage I've done to her is I made sure she got some extra war scars over here. This was me relearning how to do U-turns uh, when upgrading from uh, Ninja 250. So I love this bike, she's awesome. The only thing you'll notice is that I can't flat foot her. If I have one foot uh, flat on the ground over here, which is flat foot, I have one foot up in the air over here. When I stand on my, bring the bike up, I'm actually up on my tiptoes. And I'm not sure if you can see that or not, me being up on my tiptoes. So um, one of the things I had to get used to with this new bike is that I cannot uh, move it while I'm sitting on it, so I had to learn how to move it while standing up. Uh, one of the good things about this bike is this place right here where the fairing is, is a perfect spot for my knee. So I can put my knee right back in there and it just helps push her around very nicely. So I've actually gotten pretty good at um, moving my bike that way. So this is my bike, I know she needs a bath. Um, and let's go do some riding and we'll talk some more about how she rides. Um, it did take me a while to get used to the different weight uh, and the different weight displacement associated with this F4 as opposed to my old Ninja 250. My Ninja 250 was really light, it was really flickable. It was the most amazing, wonderful, perfect starter bike. Um, and when it was unceremoniously killed, unfortunately, um, I had to make a decision as to whether I wanted to get another Ninja 250 or whether I wanted to upgrade. I did look at an F4i, I test drove one before I got this one. Um, I like this bike, I like the way that it handled. The F4i is great, I just didn't know if I wanted to jump from a 250 to a 600 in line four um, and have to worry about fuel injection as well. well. The other thing that took a while to relearn how to do was my U-turns, as the scars on the mirror clearly say. Uh, because the weight on this bike sits a lot higher than on the Ninja 250, it's got an 18 liter tank that sits right up high. Um, when you're doing your U-turns and slow speed maneuvers, I just spend a lot of time relearning how to compensate uh, for the weight of this bike. And I may have dropped it, um, we'll go with a couple of times. Oh man, I go like 30, really? I'm, oh man, oh my god. Seriously, I don't know if you guys can see this, this car is actually doing 20 kilometers an hour. Wow, this is awesome. Um, okay, so this is the other lookout point that's really pretty here in Victoria. Um, and I guess that was kind of my little intro about my bike. Um, yeah, that's about it, I guess. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions.